you. Oh, you must be the new kitchen maid. I hope you can cook. Hmm? Answer me. Speak up. What's that? I can't hear you. A little shy, are you? Never mind. There will be ten for dinner. Here is the menu. Is that understood? A dinner will be at nine. When I want you, that bell on the wall will ring three times. All right. Get to work. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Up right here. I am saying hello, hello. It's dead, sir. What? Who is? Who are you? The butler, sir. The butler, eh? I thought as much. That phone has been out of order for the past week, sir. Is that a fact? And I put it to you that this wire has been snippet not one hour ago, as you can plainly see. What is your name? Benson. Your little jest escapes me. I am Monsieur Milo Perrier. My chauffeur was injured by a foreign gargoyle while standing outside in Chinese footprints. We rang the bell. A woman screamed. A mouse ran by us through the door. As you can plainly see, I miss nothing. Since we cannot call for a doctor, I will need a cold compress for my chauffeur and a cup of hot chocolate for me. Nespa? I don't think we have Nespa, sir. Just Hershey's. I'll call the maid. Fetch it for you myself, sir. In the meantime, if you'll be good enough to follow me to your room. Get up, get up. There is something about this butler I do not trust. Notice how his eyes never look at you. He's blind, monsieur. Nonsense. 